Hi everyone and welcome to this new tutorial. Stefano here from Soto Zen channel. I created this short animation for you and because it took me almost two hours uh, making this and I don't want to bore you too much with a long video. In this one I will focus on some interesting part and explain you how to solve some situation that I encountered doing this. So first of all I have this character here with the rig that I created using Rigify. If you want to know more how I made this, you can follow my rigging tutorial here. Also, I remember you that joining my Patreon program, you can always download all the 3D model or Blender scene associated with these tutorials. So let's focus on what's interesting and somehow challenging in this short animation that I'm doing here. The first part for sure is the concept, the idea, and that you may have someone that gives you precisely direction like when you are working as 3D animator in some uh, big studios or you just have to figure out by yourself what you want or what you need to do. In both situations um, you have to be able to add some style and some personality to your work. For example here I just came with this idea that was funny to me and somehow challenging and so I decided let's animate this. One thing I always do before I begin animation at the computer is I try to act by myself the entire scene. Of course in this case I skip the electricity shock part but uh, all the other little action I have tried by myself and in this way you have the chance to feel how your body balance is reacting, changing, uh, for example only by stepping on a stool and I always try to feel how my hands are moving and, and also I get the idea of the duration of the animation time. Sometimes of course you cannot do this, some kind of action are complex or dangerous to try by yourself like uh, acrobatic movement or fighting or some other kind of dangerous stuff. In this case I always search for some kind of reference video or clip that can inspire and give me a good starting point for my animation. Ok, let's go back to our friend here and I want to try to figure out which are the parts that are interesting and that is worth to discuss. And the first in my opinion is this simple interaction that I have with this uh, stool object. How to animate in this case the hands and make them interact in the right way with the object. And the second interesting situation is the kind of opposite one. I have this object that I need to control part of my character. In both cases we have different ways to approach and solve this uh, problem. Uh, let me show you how I did it. So this is our situation. I have my character that is interacting with this object here. Let's see how to do this in a simple way. Because sometimes you are forced to deal with some constraint object or child of constraint, that's kind of a nightmare sometimes. And But in most of the case, like in this one, there's a very simple way to uh, solve this situation. Let me show you how I did. The first thing is that I have this simple hierarchy here that's controlling my stool object. So you can see here that I animate the um, uh, let me do this. Let me select the hands and we can delete the animation from the frame 10. Okay, let's delete this keyframe here. So you see that we have our character that moved and then we need the hands to follow precisely our object. Let's go back to object mode and select our parent 
controlling object and I want to switch the transform pivot point to the 3D cursor and then I want to move my 3D cursor to this selection so shift S cursor to selected. Let's change also from local to global the transform orientation and if I now enter pose mode and I select both my hand controlling object and if I now rotate on the Z axis with this kind of option you can see that the hands has the same behavior of this tool object so I can place them somewhere around here and I can simply insert one keyframe for them then same the same I can do later so let's insert here and then one two three four five six no, sorry one two three four five okay here once again R Z and I insert keyframe and you can see that in this way you have an easy way to make your hands follow the object so essentially change the uh, pivot point rotation option to 3D cursor move your 3D cursor to the same point of rotation of the object and then switch to global orientation mode select the both of your hands and use rotate on global Z axis to move uh, the hands in the right way I remember that my hands are parented to the root you can choose this in on rigify under here I, this IK parent root in this way they are free to move independently from the hip bone so then later I am free to uh, animate this uh, hip bone in the way that I need and this is a very simple and effective way to most of the time solve this kind of situation and let's take a look now at the second situation the opposite one I have this um, light uh, bulb object here from the ceiling I made a very simple IK bone chain that controls this object here and in the moment that Fred uh, got the electricity shot this object start to move around jitter around very very quick and I want this hand to start to follow its movement so how to do this first of all I created this null object and then I parented it to this last bone to do this you simply enter edit mode you select the desired bone and then you go back into object mode you select this null object shift select your chain and then ctrl p and you select parent to bone and now the object will follow your chain animation so when we arrive at this frame here I want to enter pose mode I select my hand controlling object in this case and this time I will choose child of and what I want to do is to select as my target object this controlling null here so I know that is CTR spark and it's already working great I move my chain here and the hand is following perfectly so this is also very powerful to know so what I did here I just animate then this chain here and the hands is following and then I animate this single uh, object here changing this to median point in this way I can move them easily and make these extreme changes in position and rotation that gives this kind of cartoonish effect okay one last thing how to control and animate all this hair I want to show you a little trick let's select them all together and then let's change the uh, transform pivot point to individual origins and this must be in local mode so if I now press R and X I can easily animate all them 
at once and this is very handy fast and nice especially for this kind of electric shocking effect that I needed okay guys so I think this is the end of this video I hope that you enjoy this and learn somehow something useful if so please leave a like subscribe and if you have any question please write them in the comments I also invite you to visit my Patreon page there you can download uh, this entire scene if you want to study a little bit uh, more in depth this tutorial if you didn't do it yet please subscribe my channel and visit also my main youtube channel Soto Zen, where I constantly upload all my creation and for those of you who will join my patreon program I want you to know that I will be very soon available for my first one hour Q&A live session so at the moment I have only one patron but who knows maybe someone of you will join me and then I really hope to meet you there where I will discuss with you about the future video that I'm planning to do so as always thanks for watching my videos have a great day and see you soon with another one